I'm one of the sound artists. I, I am the er, first part of the sound design. I capture all of the original performances as they're occurring on the day in each and every shot. It's a, it's a collaboration of my tools, the way a camera uses its tools to convey character, to, to invite the audience to believe in, to, in, in these characters, the journey they're on and the environment they're in. In this film, it's very specific in terms of its dependence on sound for emotional content. Um, Leo and, and Lily and Bob De Niro have all chosen signature voices that are intrinsic to the characters who they become, not their own voices, and it's very specialized. Leo's, I don't know if you know the film or not, but um, particularly Bob De Niro's use of the Osage language, which is this amazing, dignified kind of metaphor for the Osage as a culture and as a nation. De Niro's use of Osage in a fluent way is a tool of deceit for his liaison to the white community for the Osage, but in fact his leadership of the conspiracy to their destruction. It's an amazing, amazing set of contrasts, and, and uh, I, I hope you enjoy the film because it's n there's nothing like it out there. I, I, I've, done, I've done 150 movies. I have, I have been re rewarded in many ways. This one is an extremely special, authentic, and heartfelt by all the parties concerned. Marty put something together here that's fantastic. He's senior year in years, but his vitality is timeless. And it was a privilege to be part of this just for that.